yet Obasanjo criticizing Buhari over unemployment show his record as president. Sunday diary. Hmm. Well, the Minister of Youth and Sports Development Sunday diary speaks about his activities in office in his interview with Friday Oloko. You were a journalist before venturing into public service and politics. What was the transition like? You know, I have had a number of transition i have transited from being a journalist essentially to being a manager a news a news manager as the voice of america i had moved from there to being a publisher i have moved from there to go back to school for an academic research in journalism and then i moved on to become a political appointee working at the ncc nigerian communication commission but even before then i worked i worked to help build new political alignments under that we moved from the alliance of the opposition parties to the major when i worked with ashiwa jubola metunubu as chief of staff thereafter i got my first major public appointment when President Muhammadu Buhari made me the Federal Executive Commissioner at the Nigerian Communication Commission where I worked for two and a half year. I have said in the past it's like moving from a bit of theory into practicality. You know unless you step into the puddle you cannot say exactly what the texture is. So moving from being a journalist, being an analyst, being a writer, being a reviewer and all to now having to deal with implementing and turning government policies and initiatives into a reality was quite a transition. But because I have the experience of managing resource and administration at both international and local levels, all of these came together. What for me was important was the marriage between media and publicity and public policies. The media essentially is the monitor, the policies of government and then to find a way in which you can make the people understand the policies of governments, how, how they work, how they can benefit but in that process you also hold those in power to account. So as a media person you serve as a barometer but also as a public servant. So it's quite a transition, but I think I settled down into that transition earlier because I was able to marry these two words. Well, we are two years in the saddle. The jury is still out. We have tried our best. We have done things differently. We have ruffled a bit of feathers. We have shaken the table. Some do not agree with us, but as a journalist, I deal with facts. I am able to compare what I met on the ground with what we have done. I am able I'm able to talk about the new change we brought which is deliberate and for some of them in the impact we will felt when we are going long gone. Well, there is a default position which is that more focus is on sports because of the glamour and some other things but right from the start i did say i was going to put youth and sports on an even queue i am going to make sure that youth get visibility and sport also get visibility and that is what we've been doing for example we are able to look at two columns and under youth we can list some of the things we have done and also under sport we can list what we have done or are doing we promise to deliver two major policies one far reaching youth policy and one far reaching sport policies the first one we delivered was for youth the establishment of the nigerian youth investment fund the first umbrella concept we deliver was also for youth which is deal digital literacy employability entrepreneurship and leadership we deliver on those two and we have just moved ahead and then you come to sport we work to get sport reclassified as business and not just sport as recreation we have worked in 18 months to make 
sure that we did a review of the nation sport policy we have worked in the last 18 months to rewrite a sports industry policy that has a business model or orientation we are at a point in which we are about to deliver on it this is a far-reaching policy we have enjoyed the support of mr president in all this effort people have to deal with fat you check your fat and you can see that the effort we have made have been to address the two mandate areas that we are having well recall also 65 percent of these involved in sports activities representing this country at the national continental and international levels are used because once you hit the band of 31 and 32 years except you are exceptionally blessed you cannot compete at the highest level so there is a sense in saying youth and sports sometimes they say sports and if you support the youth to benefit from possesses to have a career path in its investment in the youth so you can hardly separate youth and sports nigerians are generally concerned about the rising youth unemployment in the country former president olisha guabasanjo once described it as a time bomb does this administration really have a strategy to address this what did president obasanjo do to address youth unemployment when he was in power for eight years if he had built and laid down a sustainable model subsequently government would have followed through because it is not enough to say it is a time bomb but the buhari government is doing something different youth unemployment and general unemployment have been with us for a long time it didn't st just start six years ago it didn't start on this president's watch you must also link it with the international economic trajectory even before covid19 you saw economic struggle from north america to europe and the rest of the world revenues were dwindling nations were running into massive debt including america and then you saw what happened with the covid 19 pandemic negative economic growth all over the data are there there is a global village nigeria is not as as island nigeria is not insulated from this global shock and what happened eventually you saw the level of poverty rising people losing the employment more people becoming under employment some unemployed so i am just giving you a realistic perspective yes it is worrisome that we have increasing unemployment among the youth but it's also caught across and more needs to be done by both private and public sectors therefore i want to focus on what this administration has been doing consciously and deliberately we have seen in six years an administration that has tried to change the fundamental of youth engagement always from just getting a job in a move in a government agency laying emphasis on training and entrepreneurship we have seen how about 35 to 40 youth focus programs were created and youths have benefited from them we have seen deliberate efforts to frontally attack youth employment through multifaceted approaches by trying to restart the economic providing necessary infrastructure so when you look at it there is no tailor-made solution to youth unemployment and the challenge every government has is to find a way to bring down unemployment <laughs> anyways you couldn't have dared to compare president momodu buhari with obasanjo obasanjo is far far more better than your so-called buhari well you can go to the comment section and share your dig on this article thanks for listening